Hi, this is Dean with Pretty Productive. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today what I'm going to be doing is kind of walking you through what I have for 2024. And I've kind of been playing around in all of them in the month of December and I already feel a little overwhelmed. <laughs> so I, I'm going to narrow it down, but I'm going to kind of walk you through what I'm doing now and then what where I think I should be. So in the past, I've always used the Hobonichi Weeks and the Hobonichi Cousin, which is right in here. And those have kind of been my go-to ones for the last three years. And I also do a memory planner, which is more with kids and, you know, all of that. And that one I know I'm going to continue. I just have not set up my new one for 2024. So um, that one's not even on the table to get rid of. So what I decided to do this year, um, a couple of things. One, I every single year buy the A6 Hobonichi Day Free. Um, and I never use it. But I really had high hopes for it this year. So what I'm doing in this particular one is this one actually fits inside my tote. So this one goes with me all the time. If I need to make an appointment or jot something down, this is the one that will be with me. I did use some PET tape to kind of decorate a little bit, both on the outside and the inside. This is just cardstock that I kind of liked and it looked good with the cover. This is the Mot Motrin. Or term, I cannot say that today, um, khaki. So I didn't really do a lot of setup for the month of December. I just kind of plugged things in. I ended up having surgery on the 30th of November. So I pretty much was out of commission for the next week. And then I kind of started to go back into my regular schedule. But because of the surgery, I gave all my hours away for the month of December. So it actually was nice. It's probably the first time in... 20 some years that I had December off so I kind of enjoyed it so I kind of just plugged in a few things for January I haven't really done much to set it up I'm probably not going to use a lot of decor in this particular planner um, I do use these sticky notes when I book an appointment that's kind of long term just so I can pull it off even though I'm using an erasable pen and those are these from Beverly and I got mine from Jet Pins. I think there's four different color collections. And this one is the, I think this one is the T one. Um, I have no idea. It's in Japanese. I think it's the T, but I'm not sure. So w what I decided to try with this one, which actually has worked very well. So, I needed a place just to write down to-dos as they pop into my head and then to schedule them. And I have found that if I put them in my Hobonichi Cousin, which is not with me all the time, then I kind of lose them until I sit back down and look at this again. So I decided if this was going to be with me, this is what its function was going to be. So for December, I wrote down a to-do list. And then I separated the to-do list by what category that belongs to. So whether it's my Etsy shop, health fitness, budget and YouTube, planning and journaling. And then I left these two blank, um, but you're gonna see what I do with them in January. It actually worked really well. It kept me on track to cross things off and schedule them in. So once I write them down and then decide which category, then I'll schedule them in in either my Hobonichi Cousin, probably, or another one. So I've gone ahead and started my to-do list for January, and I had the same categories. I did kind of color code them. So Etsy Shop, Health and Wellness, Budget YouTube, Planning and Journaling, and then I added a home section and then a family section. So the home section, my husband and I are doing a lot of projects around the house. It could be my cleaning schedule, anything like that. And then my family is just commitments I've, I've scheduled with my family or things I wanna do with them. And then I'll start over for February here. So I am really liking that for this um, particular planner because it is super portable. Not going to be a lot of deco, probably isn't going to be something that I would show on my channel other than right now. So this one 
because I did have um, some health issues at the beginning, really the end of last year, end of 2023, I needed a place to write things down. So I track my blood pressure every morning, but I put it in my phone and then when I go to the doctor, I just print that out. So I will continue doing that. Originally, I started putting it in here. I started to track my meals and also how I was feeling each day. So I'm probably gonna keep that up, um, but not to really, uh, I mean, it's probably gonna be very boring, but um, I, did it all the way to the 12. So I tracked my meals over here, my blood pressure right here, and how I was feeling over here. Um, I found that when I was in the hospital, I really did not have a gauge on what my medications were. <laughs> and also when my last, you know, this shot or that shot was. So I figured I needed a place to write it down. Um, I did end up putting all my medications in my phone and my immunizations because I figured Hopefully my phone would be with me, but when I checked into the hospital, I left my phone at home. So all the questions they asked me, I couldn't even get into my pharmacy app. So don't know if I would have this with me or not, not really sure. But I think that's where it's gonna go. Again, probably not one that you would see on my channel just because it's a lot of uh, more personal information that probably wouldn't be that interesting to anybody else. Um, I did use some of my vinyls from the Coffee Monster Co. that I have been hoarding. Um, but they all kind of, you know, pertain to health. This one is um, more of a journal just because when I go to visit my mom, who's in a memory care facility, I need to decompress when I leave there. And in the beginning, I would just come home and I'd be upset or I'd be crying. And my husband's like, I don't know what to do for you. And I'm like, you can't. And I've really tried to just embrace the situation and enjoy her while I have her, whatever hits me when I walk in the door. But I do find if I take a moment and write it down, and I do tend to take a picture, it's my sister and I with my mom, and I date it, and I just do a couple little notes about the visit themselves. Um, I do need to catch up, I'm down a couple. So I just print a picture. Um, I always show my mom pictures of my granddaughter she loves babies. She just, she'll cradle the phone. So I, those are little things I want to remember, not just that she didn't know who I was or she talked incessantly about my dad or whatever it might be um, that would kind of hurt my feelings when I would leave there. Not that it should because it's not her control, but I'm just, as I process working through it and how I'm handling it, um, I'm finding that journaling after my visit works really well. Sometimes I'll take this with me, just throw it in my bag. It does also fit in here if I wanna take them both with me. So I can just throw it in there. So that one is that one again, probably not one you would be care to see. Now this is the one I am kind of excited about. Didn't really have a need for it, but I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with it. And it is the Paper Test Design B6 yearly. A um, couple things that I really like about this particular planner. One, I love the B6 size. Um, it's just not quite as intimidating as the A5 cousin, um, but it's bigger definitely than the A6. I am using deco in here. I have a lot of deco. I have monthly kits that I receive plus, you know, different ones that I've purchased. So I need a place really to use the deco up and I really like the creative process of this one. So I did start the calendar part in December, but the daily part and the weekly part is not starting till January. So I've only put one thing so far. I am going to be using the Simple Paper um, January subscription kit to decorate um, the monthly calendar as well as the weekly. And I'll show you how I've kind of set up the weekly so far. I did use tabs from Planner Monkey Co. There are the translucent ones. So the format of this planner, if you're not familiar with it, it has a monthly view. It has a spread right here, which I'm going to be using for a little bit of goals, a little bit of just kind of memory keeping, like what's going on in that month. 
and then you have a weekly view similar to the Hobonichi weeks where you've got the week, you've got some grid pages. And what's different in this one is that the daily pages are right after the weekly pages. So I like that it went month, week, daily. It's the only one of my planners that has that kind of a format. So that's really kind of what attracted me to this planner. So what I did was I went ahead and set up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I split the, the page in half where there's enough pages that you could do one page per day, but I don't feel like I need that because I still have my cousin. So I just split it in half. Um, these are the date dots and the weeks from the Simple Paper Kit. And then you've still got a couple extra pages here. So I think for these two pages, it's going to be one of two things. It's going to be, um, I think this page is going to be a monthly recap. I may or may not put pictures in here. Um, I do that in my memory planner. I do a monthly recap of like the highs and the lows. Um, it may become a meal prep. It may become goal, like what I accomplished, what I need to work on, and then maybe just a total you know, monthly or weekly recap. And then you go right into the next week. So I like this format. I think it's gonna be good. Um, there isn't a lot in the back. There are some extra pages, but not, you know, a ton. So I'll kind of see, because it goes to January of next year. So in this one, I definitely will be using Deco. I will be using, um, you know, probably I'll use one kit for the whole month. Um, this one is the, I think this one has one, two, uh, it almost has, you could do it for the cousin and the weeks, I think is the one that I have, but there's enough in this kit, in the monthly um, subscription kit to use the whole um, the kit for the month of January. So that is my plan with this one. I probably will be sharing this one just because I really love the format and it wasn't one that I could find a lot of videos. I know Jasmine with Journaling with Jazz um, set hers up and has been playing with it. Um, but I've been kind of just looking at different videos on how people set it up because it's a little different than what I'm used to. So that one is the B6 Paper Test Design. And then my Hobonichi cousin, which is not new. Um, I did take the planner spot um, daily, I'm sorry, monthly important dates and print it on vellum and stick that inside there just so that I had them. I really started because I was looking for Easter when Easter was. So <laughs> that's what started the whole thing. Um, Easter's March 31st, okay. Um, then when you go into here, I think for, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these pages. I normally don't. Sometimes I log birthdays here. Sometimes it's steps, things like that. I haven't really kind of decided if I want to log it here or log it into, let me just go back to this one. So the beginning of this one, which I kind of just breezed through, has room to do, um, there's two blank pages that you could kind of do tracking on. Then it has the yearly overview by month, which I think I'm going to do birthdays in here. And then it has the quarterly. And I think th this would be good for goals. Now, maybe personal goals or maybe goals for my YouTube channel or my um, Etsy shop might be here. I'm not sure yet. I'm kind of going back and forth. And then it goes into the first month. So those sections are a little bit less intimidating to me than sometimes these are because it just seems like a lot, but we'll see. So this is how I decorated December. This is a kit from, it's a shop called Print with Kate and it's on Etsy and you, they're digital files that you just print yourself. So because I have a shop, I have the printer, the paper, everything. I cut them on my Cricut. Um, her cut lines are amazing. And you can size them to whatever size you want. So you can make them big or small depending on what you want, which I like that flexibility. 
and from a cost savings it's so much less expensive than buying a lot of kits so that's kind of what I did for this one I have not yet decorated January um, but I will be it may be if there's enough of the simple paper or not I don't know and then for the week this is the first week of the month um, so I will be doing a filming of setting up this one. I went ahead and kind of carried over that winter theme. And then I'll just pick things from my shop that I have formatted for the Hokonichi Cousin that will match these colors and then use those. So I'm kind of going back and forth because my life is not that busy that I need a this many planners, but that I need to do like a monthly and a weekly and a daily spread. So I think what I'm going to do with this one is set up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then come back and set up Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So the to do's from my A6 will come into here and I'll plug them in on the days that I'm going to get them done. So this will become more of a memory keeper, task list, things like that. Um, and I do want to start really tracking down a little bit more of where I'm spending my time, more time blocking. I find that I'm playing on my Switch a lot. I'm watching videos a lot, um, always watching TV. So I'm really trying to cut some of those things out, read more. Um, I did look at doing a separate reading, um, like reading log, but it, it, I don't read that much that I need a separate book for that. So that will either incorporate into here or it's gonna incorporate into the B6. And these are from Print by Kate again, if I don't say that. So I went ahead and decorated the whole month. And then I'll do a different theme starting here. So I may either continue with the decorative stickers or I may just go right to more functional planning in here. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos on the cousin and the weeks. And, you know, if it's... I love the way it looks when it's really decorated, whether you're using character stickers or, you know, like these, the scenes, things like that. But um, I think I want it to be more memory based. So it may be more, you know, like Coffee Monster Co, Washi, things like that. I haven't really decided, but I really just wanted to test out this kind of a layout for the first month. And then I may change it up again for the going forward. And then the daily pages will continue what I did in my other one. And I just realized my other one is out on the kitchen table. Um, so how I use my daily pages, um, I did a little bit of decor there. This is also from Print by Kate. I think this was her desk view is the name of that one. Not really sure on that. Um, but right here on this part of the daily, I do a schedule. And I basically, if I'm watching like my granddaughter, I'll just put, you know, her name and then an arrow down a quick, what time I left there, what I did when I got home and then, you know, what I planned for dinner or what we ended up doing for dinner. And then this whole side is journaling. And at first I was like, you know, I really can't fill up that much. And it's amazing how much I fill up. Um, and it's not, pretty journaling. It's literally whatever's on my mind, whatever frustrated me, whatever made me happy, whatever like that. It's almost close to, I don't really want anyone to read it because they would probably be upset with me, <laughs> but it gets it out of my mind and helps me to kind of just put it in the past and move on. So that's what the daily pages will be. Um, you will definitely see the weekly and the monthly. Um, I'll show like glimpses of the daily, but um, I don't like to edit myself on the daily pages or worry about spelling or how pretty it is because it's usually very messy because, you know, when you're writing fast and you're just getting things out, it's not about pretty. It's about um, really just function. And then the last one, I am trying really hard to be a TN girl. I have many of them. And I'm very um, motivated or influenced by Coco Plans. I love her plan. She has three or four different TNs that she uses. Um, some of them are actual TNs. One is the um, paper test design, the weekly, but in the TN size. So this is one of the first TNs that I purchased. Um, and this is from Traveler's Notebook. 
And then um, I added in a little bit of deco. This is from Planning with Kay. And this is um, supposed to be my, kind of my journal daily log. So I did start it. I need to catch up. Obviously I'm already a week behind. <laughs> um, I decorated this week cause that was the week before Christmas. Um, I did not decorate this week yet or fill that in. So this is the vertical daily uh, from Traveler's Notebook. It comes in two booklets. So this is the first half of the year and then the second half of the year I put away. I, I want to I want to be this person. I don't know that I am. And then also, um, just because I really wanted to spend more money, <laughs> I did the monthly view, which I think with this one, it's going to be kind of like a character a day because I have so many stickers to get through. So I may just, you know, I didn't do anything for December because I wasn't really using this one. The weeklies didn't start till the 18th, I think it was. Um, but just put in like a note each day. And then this is the other one, which again, I haven't started. This one is definitely going to be gratitude. Um, I just don't know if I'm going to continue to decorate it. So this is one of the print by Kate kits. Um, so this planner started on the week, um, on the 18th of December. I have not written anything in there. Now I did in my current Hobonichi that ends today, which is the 31st. I did write down gratitude, so it's easy for me to transfer those things over here. But again, I just, I may not be a TN girl. Um, so I may de-stash some of the TNs I have. I have some that have not even been opened, like the travel ones and the diner one. I may end up just de-stashing them and just know that this is not my forte. Um, though I do love the look of it, I just don't know that I a need it and b if it's really what my planning style is. So the ones that I know are gonna stay, and just so that this is just kind of everything I would need for my cousin. Um, I do take my cousin and the weeks over to my daughter's every day in a tote bag, with, along with some supplies and a little printer. And I will go ahead and work on those while the baby's sleeping and kind of get, keep caught up. Um, I'm not good about writing in it at night. I'm, I'm super tired, but by the time I get to my daughter's house in the morning, I usually have about a 45 minute to an hour window where they've left for work and the baby's not up yet. And that has been a really good time for me to catch up in my journals. So I kind of just wanted this to have the pens that I would need, a notepad, some stickers. Um, these are, post-it notes, the same ones that are in my other one. And then back here, I have two of the notebooks. Um, I haven't really decided what I wanted to do with those yet. Um, and then I've got a few, a few pencil boards here. I did put, I think, a few stickers in here, but I need to see. So I just put some monthly ones, some book reviews, um, these I've been working on, they're kind of cleaning lists by room. So this would be bedroom, living room, kitchen, uh, let's see ones. kitchen, bath, uh, bathroom. And these fit in the width of the columns for the Hobonichi. Maybe using these, um, as my kind of go-to, yeah. I'm just still kind of playing around with them to see if I have everything on there that I need. And then I always like some monthly ones to either use in the front or on the page themselves. So just kind of playing around with some things that I didn't have printed, but that I could probably use. So that is my 2024 <laughs> lineup as it is right now. It is obviously going to have to come down um, I'm thinking that this is going to be my stack and then these two may or may not make the grade. I don't know. Um, I could separate the page in the B6 and just put a section for wellness and a section for how I'm feeling or mood tracker 
you know, I really want to simplify it because I get overwhelmed and your planning should not be overwhelming. I'm not that busy. But on the other hand, you know, you have them, you've spent the money, you kind of want to use them, but you know, at the end of the day, you got to use what works for you. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I will be filming my cousin setups and things like that because I do miss planning um, videos. I miss, you know, the interaction with you guys. I also miss, you know, seeing everybody's planners and seeing how they plan and what they're using. And um, I know right now in the planner community, it's all about rings. I have been in rings for so many years of my life. I cannot imagine I would ever go back to rings. Um, it is not a planning system that I enjoy once I found a book bound. <laughs> um, that was life changing for the way I planned and how much I enjoyed it. So that is what is true as of today. So I hope you have a great new year. I'm filming this on New Year's Eve. Um, I will probably film tomorrow, Monday the 1st, right? Um, I will film my cousin setup um, for the week and then um, probably Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then maybe Wednesday night I'll complete it and then film through the rest, second half of the week just so you can kind of see how I'm using it and how I'm going to plan out the rest of the week. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not done so already and this is content, content that you enjoy, please consider subscribing and hit the alert for future videos. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Music